been uh, pretty busy the last couple of days um, on the van. So, and Kelsey's asked me to start recording, so I better do that. Um, so right now I'm doing the water tanks under the tank, so under the van. So I'm just making up some brackets. I'm welding them together because I don't have a press to fold them. And buying them um, was going to work out more expensive. So to sort of make them up, so I'm just going to, that'll just get welded on there, that'll have a hole in it and it'll be my saddle for the tank. So it'll go around there like that. Um, this morning I was out here putting some more steel in the van. Um, so I welded these two in, one, two, and then these hanging all threads. So that's what <coughs> those saddles I was just making then, or I am making. Why won't it focus? Autofocus, come on, come back a bit. Anyway, that is what they'll bolt to. So basically the tank will sit in here and it will sandwich up against this steel. Bracket will go underneath, bolt up each side. There'll be two saddles and that'll be one tank at the front there and then there'll be two more tanks at the back. Um, you've probably, Kelsey's probably already filmed this, but the last few days I've been in here, well, two days actually, two or three days, I've been in here putting these new roof trusses in because the old ones were pretty crap. Um, so I just wanted, there was like four or five broken ones, so I just thought I just replaced the whole lot. Like it, the timber didn't cost that much, it was like six dollars a length. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. Um, and we've got a new manway there for the new hatch. So the new hatch was smaller than the old one that was in there. So I had to make up that. And then we're gonna have to flash the seat, flash the roof afterwards. Um, this one, the hole was the same size here, so that was a bonus. And then I'll put a third hole here for the shower, so it'll be above the shower and toilet, which will eventually go there. That's one made, fits around the tank pretty good. Now I'm just gonna go measure those hanging bolts and just get exact hole centers. Like if I just go center, like if I just guess it and go, oh yeah, it'll be right in the middle. It could be a little bit out. So I'll just measure the centers on those bolts, mark it here, drill them, make another one, and then we'll be done. Um, so I just finished for the day. Miller still in the jammies. Um, I've got the tank in, so I'll just give you a quick look. There it is. No dramas, really. Um, it was pretty easy in the end, I thought. I think I was just overthinking it. Um, so there's just a saddle that goes underneath the tank. 
and bolts up on the each side. One, two, three, four. Um, and it just sandwiches against this bit of steel. Pretty straightforward. So one, two, three tomorrow. I got the steel cut there. I've got to make another four brackets. That's the. That's probably the hardest bit. It's because I don't have a. I mean, you can buy these, but they didn't have the ones I needed, like the size that I needed. So I just thought I'd make them. What? And I don't have a press, so I was just cutting and welding it all together, which is time consuming. But yeah. Welded a bit of welded a bolt into a bit of an angle. I haven't welded one yet, but that'll take 10 seconds. And then eventually, like there's a bit of room. There's a bit of room in there. So we'll have sheet metal. Just like a bit of flashing down there, there, up the outside, just to protect it from stones. But that is one that'll be drinking water. So one in front of the tyres and one behind the tyres, and then a grey water at the back, at the very back. But I don't know whether I've seen, like I've been looking at other caravans, like new vans, and how they're put together and sort of copying it, but um, the grey waters. The grey water sits lower, I think, so that everything can fall back to the grey water, like it drains properly, so you need to fall in the pipes, so gravity can, basically gravity, um, assists with draining your shower and your sink, basically. Um, but I might just, I might not sit it any lower, I might just sit at the same height as these tanks, because... I don't, I want there to be clearance at the back, I don't want to be scraping along the road. But yeah, should have those other two tanks in tomorrow, and then... I've got some more steel today. Um, so, I've got this little bracket, and it's just... For the jockey wheel, and it's just not, not strong enough, like I... And it's a shit old oh god, Peter. Um, <clears throat> um, I've got the heavy duty one, I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to, so that's 100 by 50 and that's 150 by 50, I'm going to put 150 by 50 across here and then the heavy duty bracket which is about this big, because I, there's no weight in the van at the moment and already the jockey wheel sort of flexes a little bit in this bracket, so I'm going to get the bigger one. Um, there's some other stuff. Oh. So the suspension as well. So there's all these little things that just takes so long. Um, it's the weird stuff that we found in the roof. They're just shoved in the roof. Um, so where these weld on here, um, I was thinking about it anyway, but someone actually commented on one of the videos or the photos or something and said, oh, you should put a gusset in there just to strengthen that up. So I've, I bought some steel there t today as well. Do some 100 by 10 flat, and then I'll make some triangle gussets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I mean, that's takes time. All this stuff. I just got to watch out for this, so I don't damage that the handbrake cable. But yeah, it's slow, and we just need to get all this. I just need to get all these little steel jobs done, so we can get the thing painted. And once we get the thing painted, and we get our wheel arches in. My mate Drummond's going to fold those up for me. He's a sheet metal worker and he's got access to a pan break. He's going to fold up wheel arch covers that go on the inside there. And then we can put our floor in basically. the bolts 
for the uh, tanks. So these are the saddles I made yesterday. So I'm just making the other ones for the other two tanks. That's how it attaches. It does up on the other drill hole still, obviously. So just cut a bit of angle, drilled a hole in it, put the bolt through, welded the bolt on, so that'll get welded to the van now. <clears throat> and then the saddles can just bolt straight up to it, so you don't have to hold the bolt basically, you don't have to do it the nuts. This makes it a bit easier, and that is bent. What I've been doing this morning. Made those up, made those up. I haven't welded them yet. I'll uh, get the tanks out of the boxes first and just give them a double check before I weld them. I always like to do that. So that's supposed to be the grey water fittings, but there'd be an outlet. I'll probably end up replacing all of these anyway. That's, that's a good little valve. You right? Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Morning. Just uh, thought I'd get the camera out and show you what I'm doing this morning. <clears throat> so this is the uh, one I put in like originally when I first did the chassis. Um, and I just feel like it's not big enough and strong enough. I mean the, the van's empty at the moment and when I had the jockey wheel in there and wound it up, it started to like flex a little bit. So I just thought, bugger it, I'll cut it off. That was like 20 bucks. That one was like 30. So I just thought, you know what? I'll cut it off and I'll put a bigger, heavier one on. Because once the van is finished, it's going to be have more ball weight than what it has now. So I didn't want it to be. I just thought I'd do it now, get it done. And I'm going to actually bolt it on this time. I'm not going to weld it. So I've just cut that off, making a lot of noise. It is 10am, so people should be awake or at work or whatever. 
it's a Friday. So I'll just clean that up and weld a new one in there. It's a bit stronger. Then I bolted him on. And I've got these gussets in. Just to give the suspension a little bit more strength there. Because that's all it was. It was just welded on, you know, 50 mil or 75 mil across there, whatever it was. So I made up these triangle gussets and just give it a bit more weld. And there's two of those. So there's one on each side. Just to give it a bit more strength. I had, the, I had to weld these on twice basically because I had them on. I don't know if you can see there, the back of the suspension um, needs to travel back and forth. The front one's fixed, so it was fine. So I had to cut these off and re-weld them on uh, <clears throat> further apart. So it had room for that spring to basically move in and out. So I've also, um, the tanks are finished. So the brackets for the tanks anyway. Um, this bit of steel here, one, two. Um, there's also, so there's gonna be three tanks, so there's six pieces of those steel welded onto the frame. And then I've made these little hanging bolts that will, those brackets that I made earlier uh, will hold the tanks in place. So there's one, two, three at the front. We've, uh, but the tanks obviously aren't in at the moment because we are getting the chassis ready to be painted, hence the tarp. Nice, nice. It's done now. Now say it. I've only just hit record. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you told me to put no, my I was... thumbs up. <laughs> no, I did it! Yes, you did. You're doing this behind the camera. Just say thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for watching, and guys. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs>